This is a demonstration that I do in an acid base unit. It's called blowing out a light bulb. Now what I'm going to start with is measuring out some lime water into a beaker. And with my students, I would take this 50 milliliters of lime water, pour it into the beaker, and ask them to make observations. And they note that the lime water is a clear, colorless liquid. And then I explain to them about the apparatus that I'm going to use here, which obviously involves a light bulb. And I note, I have them note that right now the light bulb is not on, though I do have it plugged into an outlet. And I tell them that the way the apparatus works is that there has to be a circuit here. In other words, there has to be a way to conduct between these two electrodes. And in order to have that occur, we have to have moving charge particles. And in this case, we're focusing on ions as those particles. So I'm going to lower the apparatus into the solution of lime water, which is also known as calcium hydroxide. And we notice that our light bulb lights up because calcium hydroxide consists of calcium ions and hydroxide ions. Now, how am I going to blow out this light bulb? Well, first of all, I take a couple of straws and connect them together. And what I'm going to do is exhale through the straw into my solution. And we're going to see what happens with the light bulb, of course. And then we'll also keep an eye on the solution when we get to the end of this procedure. So at this point, I'm going to ask you to dim the lights And I'm going to begin to exhale. Now, I want to tell those of you here that when I do this with my students, I play music. And the music that I suggest for this is the theme from the 2001 Space Odyssey. It's pretty short, and I've timed it so that it will fit with this uh, reaction. Now, whatever works for you. Try it out with your particular apparatus, your particular conductivity apparatus, and see what music works for you. I saw this demonstrated at a Flynn morning of chemistry in St. Louis, and by, it was done by Paul Price, and he used different music in different quantities, and I found out that I guess I just didn't have the wind power that Paul did, so I had to modify it a bit. So it is something that you will have to fit to your own particular uh, limitations. So let's begin. And I think we're there. Now, that takes a little bit over a minute for me to do this, but you notice that we no longer have conductivity. Besides making that observation, with my students, I would say, let's focus on the beaker here. Does it still look clear and colorless? Well, no, it looks very cloudy. We have formed a white precipitate. So now let's go to the chalkboard, and uh, let's look at equations for what actually has happened here in the beaker. Now, I want to begin with discussing the lime water. Lime water is calcium hydroxide, and it actually forms calcium ions and hydroxide ions. It's not terribly soluble, but if you use a saturated solution, obviously we had enough ions there to show conductivity in our apparatus. Now, what happens when I exhale? Well, I'm exhaling carbon dioxide into the water, and it makes carbonic acid. And of course, in an acid-base unit, what we've got here is an acid reacting with a base. 
get a double replacement reaction. And the calcium is going to combine with the carbonate and make calcium carbonate. But that has low solubility. That is the solid that we observed. So as soon as we had taken the ions from that lime water and converted them into a precipitate, there were no ions to move to make the light bulb glow. And of course, we do have some water here, but water has minimal conductivity and not enough to light this particular light bulb. So blowing out a light bulb, well, what we're really doing is a reaction to form a precipitate. And when you do this with music, it's very dramatic. And I will tell you that doing it this year with the uh, theme from 2001 um, got an ovation at the end of it. So I highly recommend you find some music that suits your personality and do put it to music. <laughs>